The most uninteresting thing for school children is the lessons. You have to listen to the teacher all the time and you can only talk when answering the teacher's questions. This class is no different from the others. Students whisper and send messages to each other. Notebooks and notes are a thing of the past. The teacher shows a film about wild animals. Sometimes he stops the clip, fills in the information and asks the children questions. Elephants, dolphins, tigers and cheetahs, orangutans, birds and butterflies appear on the screen. The film is called Extinct Animals, but many children are still not interested because they've never seen these creatures. They're long gone from the planet. Not as long as the dinosaurs, of course, but at least those are cool looking. Such lessons could be in schools around the world by 2050. By the middle of the 21st century, there won't be the animals that we're used to. We're not talking about exotic fauna. What about the year 2050? Thousands of species will disappear from the face of the Earth in the next 10 years. Scientists reckon around 20% of species will be extinct by mid-century, meaning one in five. By the end of the century, half of the existing animal species will have disappeared. Of course, dogs, cats, and mice will remain, although that's not certain either. Half a million fewer species are predicted to be on Earth in 10 years. Most of them we haven't even heard of are bugs and butterflies, frogs and fish. But the problem is, they won't just disappear from the imaginary list. Birds eat insects, and birds are eaten by small carnivores, which in turn end up in the mouths of larger animals. Yes, we were taught about the food chain in biology class too. But whether or not we have absorbed this information, the world will soon change beyond recognition. And probably more than you know. We're about to witness one of the most massive extinctions in the history of our planet. It will bring famine and provoke more deaths. It will happen if the bees disappear. You've probably heard stories of cell phone towers and other sources of electromagnetic waves throwing insects off their trail. They can't return to the hive and die. But the leading cause of death for bees is the poisonous substances used in agriculture. This is symbolic because 80% of crops in European fields depend on bees. No bees, no crop. And yet, when you look at a YouTube video, you don't think this problem, which will hit the world in 20 years, is that serious. And if you look at it this way, virtually one in four of the food you eat depends on bees. 80% of the world's plants continue to bear fruit and multiply only through pollination by these insects. If there are no bees, there won't be half of the fruits, vegetables, berries, nuts, and seeds we love to eat. And then it's just one thing after another. What do you think of the apocalypse due to the disappearance of bees rather than a Martian invasion or an asteroid impact? Animal extinction will be visible even in everyday little things. Some days, when you order sushi, you won't find anything with eels on the menu. That's because they're going extinct. Three species of these fish are now threatened with extinction, the American, European, and Japanese eel. The Alabama sturgeon seems to have suffered that fate. No fish of this species has been sighted since 2007, and yet sturgeons have been on the earth for 250 million years. And if you've never even heard of the sturgeon, you know about the dolphin. By the year 2050, they'll be gone. Of the 36 known species, 34 are seriously endangered. One is already extinct, and about 60 Maui dolphins are left. Once again, humans are to blame. The clever creatures, even thought to be aliens, are dying out because of climate change, ocean pollution, fishing nets, and dolphin enthusiasts. Long before 2050, there will be no elephants left on the planet. In the last decade, their numbers have declined by 62%. One reason you may never see the largest land animal is poachers. But elephants are far from the only familiar animal that is about to disappear forever. Which animal do you think you know will escape such a fate? A tiger, perhaps? Three of the nine tiger subspecies are now extinct. The Bali, Javan, and Caspian tigers, all in less than a century. All of the remaining ones are on the endangered list. Fewer than 4,000 wild tigers are roaming the earth. If they wanted to watch Real Madrid play in their home stadium, they'd only take 1 20th of the seats. 
The situation is no better with the other big cats. The fastest terrestrial animal, the cheetah, could also soon disappear. There are just over 7,000 of them left around the world, about 9% of the former population. Asian cheetahs are doing particularly badly, with only 50 counted in 2017. Back to our question about who won't be affected by extinction. Perhaps you chose the rhinoceros. Unfortunately for these tanks of animal life, they are also on the brink of extinction. Previously, the Sumatran rhinoceros lived in eastern India and the Himalayas, Bhutan, Myanmar, Thailand, and possibly even Vietnam and China. According to various estimates, between 30 and 100 remain. The situation is the same for another subspecies of these animals, the Javan. Poachers have once again put their guns to the tragic figures. And what about polar bears? You have already realized that these beautiful animals share their terrible fate of their fellows. The Santiago Bernabu could contain more than up to three times as many polar bears as there are now. Together with tigers, they could fill the stands. The latest estimate put the number at 26,000, but their immediate future looks like an ominous tragic drama. Climate change will drive the bears into harsher, more unaccustomed areas. For lack of food, the bears won't be able to store enough fat. Without fat, they won't have enough milk to feed their cubs. They won't be able to fatten up and survive in the harsh climate. Many exotic animals are on the list for imminent extinction, but it's too early to move on them. It looks like sea turtles won't make it to the mid-21st century. Almost all known species of these reptiles are threatened with extinction. They also suffer from global ocean pollution, climate change, die in fishing nets, end up in captivity, or are eaten altogether. And here's the thing, sea turtles have been on the planet for 100 million years. They swam in the same waters when the dinosaurs were still roaming the earth, and then progressive humanity appeared. Pretty soon, you and I will be killing the most beautiful place under the sea, the Great Barrier Reef. One of its main attractions is the corals. And although they appear to us as multicolored rock outcrops, they're alive, while they're still alive. A fun character from the Madagascar cartoon series, King Julian, would do wonders for the mournful mood of this video. Except the lovable lemur will also soon be on the list of extinct animals. Humans have displaced them from their usual habitat, with nowhere for them to live or hunt. The opposite of the elegant and playful lemurs are the slow-moving koalas. As recently as 2012, the species was considered vulnerable, but is now endangered. If you measure the number of koalas by the seats at the Real Madrid Stadium, they would only fill half of it. The koalas suffer from the actions of humanity and domestic dogs that attack the harmless sweet koalas. Somewhere in the forests of China and Vietnam, a huge pine cone on legs can be spotted. This is the name of a unique creature, the Chinese pangolin. They are the only scaly mammals in the world. They resemble anteaters with an elongated snout, long tongue, and intimidating claws. But the pangolins are covered to the tip of their tails with large scales that look more like the tiles on the roof of a house. There are eight known species of these lizards, and all are about to go extinct. In addition to the leading causes of extinction already mentioned, these exotics have additional problems. Firstly, their scales are used in traditional medicine, thought to be medicinal. Secondly, in Asia, their meat is consumed as food. And thirdly, along with bats, researchers have accused pangolins of transmitting the coronavirus to humans. All this becomes the reason for their targeted extermination. Another unusual animal you probably haven't even heard of is the mountain yellow-legged frog. These amphibians are native to the Sierra Nevada and transverse ranges, Southern California. They easily tolerate cold winters in the highlands, but they can't seem to survive humanity's technological advances. Previously, mountain frogs were thought to be the most abundant amphibian species in these mountains. Some 93% of the population has now disappeared. The last member of the species is not expected to live by 2050. Probably not even the red wolf will be seen anytime soon. Yes, they do exist. In North Carolina, where there were many of these animals, there are now fewer than 20 of them left. They're being shot and poisoned by locals. About 200 red wolves exist in the wildlife reserve. 
the population has been revived from the past 14 predators. When their numbers increased, they released some into the wild, but most died there. The red wolves live in pairs that form long-lasting relationships. Only the dominant families breed. The others only help the leaders raise cubs and forage for food. This creates additional difficulties for the recovery of the population. In addition, red wolves sometimes interbreed with coyotes. Such hybrids are only 4%, but even that doesn't help the species survive. Birds also have their fair share of problems, and humans are destroying their habitats. In Hawaii, for example, several species are being killed by mosquitoes. A new species of mosquito that's been introduced into the region spreads avian malaria. And on the Texas and Louisiana prairie, a funny-looking Atwater's prairie chicken is being rescued. Only seven were found in the wild in 2017, five of which were females. The Houston Zoo is breeding grouse in captivity. In 2019, it released about 200 birds into the wild. Then their numbers dwindled again, and by February 2021, about 100 of the birds remained. This list could go on almost indefinitely. If scientists are to be believed, half of the species of the animal kingdom will have disappeared from the face of the earth by the beginning of the 22nd century. Do you think humans can rectify the situation and save these unique species? Share your opinions in the comments section. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you like it.